snow conditions were just shit. And my crampon just came off. You assholes! So the crows took all of my trail mix and the dried mangoes and apricots. 9 hours 42 minutes. We still have probably at least five and a half hours out. Okay, so we want to do this trip with Irby, but then Irby was being an engineer and <laughs> he was like, no, I don't have time to do a two-day ascent of Balfour. And well, I was like, well, fuck you, Irby. I'm still going to do Balfour, but Kayla and I will do it in one day <laughs> and then I'll do something else with you later. September 1st, 2021, year two of the COVID. Kayla and I are at Takaka Falls day use area cooking some spaghetti. And Kayla's eating a dry spaghetti for some reason. Tomorrow, we're gonna try to do Mount Balfour in one day. So that'll be interesting. We got like some fresh snow recently. That should complicate things a bit. This is going to be our last big thing of the summer and honestly it could end up be our hard, being our hardest day of the summer. Yeah. We're going to be physically dead. Yeah. Possibly mentally dead too. Probably. You got a pretty <laughs> early start. Yeah, we started when it was dark and we knew it would be long. Yeah, like really long. Been gone 14 hours, 54 minutes. We, we had three hours of bushwhacking to oh, get above Takaka Falls. It was like... Not It enjoyable. was shitty bushwhacking. It was. This is turning out to be a real ass kicker. And it was pretty steep, it felt like. It was steep. And then also there was like some kind of exposed cliff bands we went up. Yeah. And so the first three hours were bad, and then we're like, I well, I was gonna cry. we're still very far away from the top, so we should keep, keep going. moving to make good yeah. time. And then there's Fairy Glacier, and Balfour is hiding behind Troll and Tinder. It looks like Balfour, Summit Ridge is going to have a lot of snow. The next part of the journey is like pretty good. Yeah. Is pretty straightforward. Yeah, so not too difficult. Pretty enjoyable too. I thought. Yeah. A lot better the views we got really it. good. There was, yeah. I mean, there was lots of ice around. Mm -hmm. It was, it was good. Okay, about a thousand vertical meters below Balfour. View is still good. Hard work is still not good. Getting higher. More snow. That's up there. But once we started getting higher up, there was like a bunch of fresh snow. Yeah. And it made things a bit more complicated. Looks like it must have been pretty cold either overnight or last couple days. Just a rock slab. And I think we got to the glacier like maybe under six hours, maybe at around six hours. And then we started on the glacier. And yeah, there is fresh snow. Some of the crevasses are hidden. We may have both plunged a foot into one of the crevasses. Kayla and I both sunk a leg into hidden crevasses. And the glacier is like, it's an easy glacier, I'll tell you that much, but yeah. we are just like Dead. dying on yeah. this thing. It's, it was, felt <laughs> so hard. This is pretty tough. Yeah, we're just giving it everything, everything. we've got because we know half, like, at about 8 hours 45 minutes, we have to, we have turn, to turn, around. turn around because... Otherwise it's going to be dark while we're trying to bushwhack. It's going to be dark, and oh, that God. pushback is not something you want to do in the dark. Yeah. 
and also Balfour just in clouds the whole really? time. Yeah. And so we make it to the end of the glacier, and we're like, "Fuck!" It's been like almost eight hours at this point, God. and like we're pretty close. It's still a complete <laughs> whiteout right now. Yeah. <laughs> but we're about two hundred meters from the top, like well, maybe like two hundred fifty meters from the top, and uh, we basically just have the ridge to go. So but like we'll we'll give it a try. Well, yeah, but we'll leave our packs here. Yeah, that was travel light. Easier. And okay, so I thought this is the stupidest thing because anyway. we're we're on a glacier. Because we're on a glacier, because we hadn't seen a tree for the last six hundred vertical meters or so, <gasps> that there wouldn't be animals Ow. to take the food. So he just so left, left it out. Our food. All of your food, anyways. Most of my food out. And we went up, and after about one minute, there were two <laughs> crows attacking my food. <laughs> the birds are right at our freaking bags, stealing our food. <laughs> at this point, like, we're so tired that um, we're not turning around to stop these crows, yeah. even though we're only like one minute out. <laughs> And yeah, and so we keep going, cross the birch run, get to get off the glacier, and we climb this snow slope up to the ridge. And we kind of saw something on the other side of the ridge. Yeah. There was a little bit of a view, but then, like, it's basically just complete yeah, whiteout. Yeah, like, you couldn't really see And so much we don't all. make it very far along the ridge and like, at all. And the other thing is, the ridge was, like, kind of snowy. It would have taken us... It, since we would have it was to be careful, very snowy and we were wearing to, like, crampons it was not fast yeah so we were gonna have to move really slowly and we were running out of time yeah and uh, also my blisters just it not was not good, good. <laughs> and so because of the complete whiteout we turn around after like a bit more than eight hours we made the decision to turn back snow conditions were just shit and my crampon just came off this crampon came off right after my crampon came off birds are probably still eating my food and it's 2 p.m. meaning we have another seven hours to get out hopefully Murder the scene. birds ate, ate most of my food. They ripped into Kayla's bag and got our buns. buns. Bro, I can't believe. Like, they really tore your mango bag to shreds and just, like, took all of it. Yeah, so you had, like, a little bit of dried fruit, some granola bars. I had, like, a couple of granola bars and a clip bar. For, like, the next... And we had to hours. go back, like, another seven hours. God. You assholes. Oh my gosh, they got into everything. Oh my gosh. I think they got the bread. It's been about nine hours now. Feet are not doing good. And my legs are pretty dead. Okay. There's a crevasse here that Kill and I both accidentally fell into last time. By the time we got off the glacier and we were ready to start heading down again, it had almost been 10 hours. Yep. And we had like so far to go. And not much food. Yeah, so... It's not like we had even been eating all that much leading up to that point when they ate all of yeah. the food. 3.19 right now. Uh, that means we've been going... 10 hours? 9 hours, 42 minutes. We still have probably at least 5.5 hours out. 
so fuck. And so the next bit was like pretty simple. Here is the higher turn that we didn't really pass on the way up. Because we were too far that way. Then, because the bushwhacking was so bad on the way up, we decided we'll go <laughs> Try down the other route. a different way. Yeah, so there's a couple different routes I had planned out on Google Maps. And, yeah, so we decided to try the other one, which took us closer to some waterfalls. Which didn't really exist. And so it was steep, and then we got... There were some like we cliffy <laughs> sections that we had to try to find our way around. Which luckily and we found a good spot to go down. Yeah, around. it was just not great. There was like a bunch of moss, and yeah. it was it was very slow getting down. And it sucked. Eventually, we got back to the river. And then once you're at the river, it was like not so bad. Yeah, because you could just we mostly were just walk so along tired at this point because it had been like so fourteen long. hours, maybe like maybe fifteen hours at this point. And we were just absolutely dead. dead. There's our campground. You can see the bridge. It's so beautiful. <sighs> that was... I was actually kind of happy on that trip with how it turned out. I mean, like, obviously it would have been great if, if there was no whiteout it. and we made yeah. it to the top, but there was some really great scenery mm -hmm. in that trip. And, you know, I can respect that the mountain didn't want us there that day. Yep. Plus we got to see two crows. <laughs> I was not happy about seeing those crows. And I think I was like pretty happy with, even that we were able to go as far as we did. I think that was the hardest day of yeah, the Yeah, because it was really it physically and also mentally pushed us quite a bit, I would say. Yeah. So It was just an overall brutal day. Yeah. But it was good. It was good. Okay, around like this went up here. God. <laughs> then went down, up, down the ridge, came up, cut across, and then it's kind of confusing. Went, Basically, went came up this back. way, and then. Uh, what the shit? Yeah, see, I'm a little confused about it. It came this. up here, I guess. I think so. And then went back down. <laughs> yes. And then we went and then... That must be the key. Wait, no, 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 just here. Mm -hmm. Well, we haven't done that yet, but we're going to. 